Okay, so I did something a little bit different today. This is day four. Um, I've been using the powder and um, I've been doing it at a dose of like one teaspoon, which is, is a pretty high dose, but I'm a pretty high dose of dopamine. So you don't want to start there. You really want to start with the littlest dose. And I might cut back a little bit to see if I can survive at a lower dose. Um, so I just use the same total amount that I have um, allocated for the day, but I spread it out a little bit different. Um, I wanted to see today if I could go with taking more of the herb a, a couple times but having to take the herb less because right now I take it like every three hours so that's six doses a day and it's kind of inconvenient with the powder. I don't use the capsules because they don't work as good for me and they're probably not going to work as good for you if you have um, some kind of um, constipation issue which most of us do have now. But um, they are convenient, so if you want to try that, I think that's a good idea. Uh, but if you find it's not effective, if you test this, you might want to go with the powder. But again, all of this information is just my experience, and I'm not, a, you know, I'm not a medical doctor. So I keep saying, um, and excuse me if I'm repeating myself, you do need to go over all this with your medical doctor um, to make sure it's okay to try this. But what was I saying? I had a Parkinson's moment. It kind of went off topic. Oh, I was telling you about my dose today. So I always start the morning with um, either like two cinnamon. So I've been starting the morning with um, double the dose of the powder. And that kind of works the same. It kind of gives me a boost. Although the mornings are getting like really hard to get going and it was like that with the cinemat so it's nothing to do with the mucuna but today instead of the six doses I did three doses and I just divided everything up I didn't take more of the powder I just divided it up differently and I found that I could survive if I took double the usual dose and go six hours so that was like really exciting um, but right now I just took my 8 o'clock dose. I didn't really feel like I needed the 8 o'clock dose, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that tomorrow. Um, this is... Yeah, sorry about that. I had to turn off the, the camera because my um, dog is barking at the fireworks. So I'll try to wrap this up. I, I think I was saying that um, I didn't know if to take this or not at the regular time that I usually take my medication because I felt okay. Um, so that's a question that I'm going to have to ask my neurologist if I should just continue with the, with the schedule um, even though I adjusted the amount. And yeah, it's a little bit different than being on the Cinemed because you still have like the off times. But the off times aren't dr as dramatic as the cinema. The cinema kind of felt like you're in a car and the car suddenly stops and you kind of jerk forward. That's what it felt for me. With It, it didn't feel that way at first, but it, now it feels that way when I'm at, having an off period. So this is just like a gradual slowing down period. And um, I don't know, I think that it lasts longer for some reason. It, it feels like that. Like it doesn't feel like I'm going to have problems if I don't keep a regular time schedule, but um, perhaps it's probably better if I do keep the same regular time. Uh, what I mean by that is that usually with the Cinemat, I usually did really bad if I didn't take the Cinemat right on time. Um, this feels not so bad. It doesn't have, it doesn't feel like it has the same side effects, but I'm not positive about that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to end here because I'm kind of rambling on now, and I think the fireworks are about to start. So, yeah, sorry about that. I had to turn off the, the camera because my um, dog is barking at the fireworks. So I'll try to wrap this up. I, I think I was saying that um, I didn't know if 
to take this and not at the regular time that I usually take my medication because I felt okay. Um, so that's a question that I'm going to have to ask my neurologist if I should just continue with the, with the schedule um, even though I adjusted the amount. And yeah, it's a little bit different than being on the Cinemed because you still have like the off times but the off times aren't dr as dramatic as the cinema. The cinema kind of felt like you're in a car and the car suddenly stops and you kind of jerk forward. That's what it felt for me. With It, it didn't feel that way at first, but uh, now it feels that way when I'm at, having an off period. So this is just like a gradual slowing down period. And um, I don't know, I think that it lasts longer for some reason. It, it feels like that. Like it doesn't feel like I'm going to have problems if I don't keep a regular time schedule, but um, perhaps it's probably better if I do keep the same regular time. Uh, what I mean by that is that usually with the Cinemat, I usually did really bad if I didn't take the Cinemat right on time. Um, this feels not so bad. It doesn't have, it doesn't feel like it has the same side effects, but I'm not positive about that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to end here because I'm kind of rambling on now, and I think the fireworks are about to start. So if you're looking at this, which you probably won't be because I probably won't load them tonight, but anyway, I hope you had a nice 4th of July, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.